In a significant development, the Nagaland Legislative Assembly and LAS likely passed a resolution against a decision by the centre to scrap the free movement regime and erect fences along the India Myanmar border. Chief Minister Nipirio at the ongoing assembly session reaffirmed the commitment of the state government to contest this decision, emphasising the need for comprehensive consultations with all stakeholders. During the general discussion on the budget 2024-25, to the Chief Minister acknowledged the legitimate concerns raised by members, particularly from Eastern Nagaland, regarding the suspension of FMR. He stressed the importance of safeguarding the rights of the people and land of Nagaland, promising to pursue the matter with the Government of India. Initiating the discussion, NPF legislator Kuzuluzo Azo Nina vehemently criticized the decision to terminate FMR, labeling it as illogical and detrimental to the interests of the Nagas. He asserted that such actions would only serve to divide communities and disrupt the long-standing connections between the people of India and Myanmar. Echoing similar sentiments, legislators from various political parties expressed their concerns over the adverse impact of border fencing on the indigenous communities living along the Indo-Myanmar border. They called for a united stance against the unilateral decision by the centre, emphasising the need for dialogue and consultation with the affected stakeholders. Echoing similar sentiments, legislators from various political parties expressed their concerns over the adverse impact of border fencing on the indigenous communities living along the Indo-Myanmar border. They called for a united stance against the unilateral decision by the centre, emphasising the need for dialogue and consultation with affected stakeholders. Deputy Chief Minister T.R. Ziliang highlighted the historical and cultural significance of the Indo-Myanmar borders for the Naga people, urging the centre to reconsider its decision. He emphasised the importance of preserving the principles of free movement and facilitating cross-border interactions for mutual benefit of both nations. Meanwhile, Home and Border Affairs Minister Y. Patton provided insights into the long-standing tradition of free movement across the border and emphasised its importance in maintaining social, cultural and economic ties between communities on both sides. He reiterated the state government's commitment to advocating for the continuation of FMR and seeking appropriate regulations in consultation with the affected populations.